Leader of Government Business in the Lower House, Honorable Gregory Bowen, says the time has come for Grenadians to collectively find the best solution to the COVID-19 situation. He made the call while presenting the motion to repeal the final COVID regulation, the Quarantine Act, during a sitting of the House of Representatives on Tuesday. On April 4th, 2022, Governor General Her Excellency Dame Cecile Lagrenade revoked the declaration of the State of Emergency proclaimed on January 11th, 2021. Since then, the country has experienced ease in restrictions to bring the country and economy back to the pre-COVID period. Minister Bowen explained that the solution does not always have to come from government alone, but collectively a more permanent and widespread resolution can be reached. It cannot be a legislative matter only. Our citizens must recognize where we came from, where we have arrived at because of the collective responsibility taken by everyone. There are periods before that when we were facing stark disaster, economic disaster, whether we were pushed or whether we recognized and made our correct decision we came out from one position into a position where we can sustain ourselves. And that was because all units, all organizations, the entire country work together. We're removing the restrictions, but we must collectively continue to work together to do what we have to do without being forced to do so. Because if we learn, we have learned from one situation before, and if we continue to build on this, because of this situation, we will be able to take care of other situations that are facing us. Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell says implementing mandatory legislation will only be met by resistance and rebellion. Dr. Mitchell explained that his government maintains its position that no laws will be passed to mandate Grenadians to be vaccinated or wear masks to protect themselves and their loved ones. I don't see why a government has to pass a law for me to protect my health. Even at the height of it, when people are saying, well, we need to do more drastic measures, you know. Uh, uh, <laughs> and, and I said, well, I don't know that maybe in an autocratic system, you may be able to get away with that, as some countries appear to be getting away with it. But you try that here, I don't know you're going to be successful. And what you will create, in fact, more dissension and more difficulties and confusion in the society. We don't need to keep this regulation in place, all the regulation in place, for each of us to be responsible. Health Minister Honorable Nicola Steele said although government is removing the final of the COVID-19 regulations, the onus is on everyone to be responsible to remain safe as government continues to work towards preserving lives and livelihoods. In our constant, constant, constantly striving to find that balance between life and livelihoods, we find that it is appropriate to ease the restrictions and this last one is to regularize previously easing the Quarantine Act, which would have caused persons coming into Grenada if they were not vaccinated uh, to be placed in quarantine. So, Mr. Speaker, we still have, we still have to keep our guard up, but we must find that balance and we continue to find that balance. And this is yet another step. It is our sincere hope, as it is in most governments, throughout the world, that we continue moving forward, that we continue to have COVID-19 behind us,